Hello, Sabrina, what are you doing? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, how about I cook you something then? Well, we don't have very much stuff to cook. Well, you have a point there. Why don't we go shopping? Okay, I'll make a list of what we will get so we don't have this problem again. Wait, don't we have a list on the fridge? No, that's a list of things we can do this weekend. All right, since we're here, let's look around a bit. All right, I wonder what sounds good for dinner. Hey, look, honey, I found a cake. That's funny, cause I found a candy cane. Well, I don't think we bought a lot. I hope I can get more money soon. Totally, I mean a candy cane and a cake. Not very good to eat. Well, that was fun. I sure can't wait to tell my friends what I did. So how does it feel to be a basketball star? It's awesome I never felt so alive. There's nothing I like better than basketball. I mean their team is awesome as well. That's great that you and your team get along well. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to say before we sign off? Yes. What is it? Have fun in what sport you do. Hello Marie. What's up? Well, I was wondering how the game was going. It's going well. Is that all? Well no there E4E seems like he's going to cheat in the game. What? How so? Every time he calls his team after a few minutes in the game he whispers something about what the other team did and makes them not shoot the basketball like that again. 
Holy cow we need to settle this. I agree they do this every season. Okay this is getting suspicious. Well here is it folks the last minutes of the game I hope that coach is not what he seems. Excuse me can I say something? Sure. Let me tell you that coach is being a cheater I heard everything from the bench down. Uh oh. Yep says he's gonna win this thing by shoving the person who is gonna make the final shoot. So I think we need to do something quick in the last minute game. I know how about you record it. I'll try but I'm not allowed to record during the game. This is just a few minutes game. Either way he's gonna get in trouble right? Hey can I ask you something? Sure. Did your coach tell you to shove the person who was gonna make the last minute shot? Well? I can't say anything. Yes please. He needs to learn a lesson. Well he didn't. I didn't do it. Why? Well cause it didn't feel right. And after I saw you hiding trying to record the scene I figured. It wasn't worth it and I'd get in trouble either way. Holy cow was that amazing. And that coach is sure gonna get it this time. Yeah, I hope he gets it. I felt like I had a coach like that. Really? Yeah, it was bad. I ended up quitting. That's good. Yeah, and I think that basketball player sure made the same idea I had when I was little. You know what? What? I forgot to order pizza. Oh no, I think I... Oh, I'm so hungry. So how does it feel to finally win the game? It's great I've never felt awesome. Well that's great and the coach? Oh he is so getting fired. Well one of the fans from the bench gave me an idea how to get him back. Really what was his name? Didn't have time to ask. Oh that's alright I'm sure he. Oh there he is he told me while you talked that his name is. Junior? Ha 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 ha. Hello, Cindy. Hey. I got to tell you something. Boy, was our boss annoying. Why, what did he say? Alike, hey, I told you one cup of coffee per drink. But he said last time, two cups of coffee. I know, right? Jeez. Well, I guess he said one cause you do tend to get crazy with more than two or something. Boy I love Facebook it's the fun website of the year. Why hello the Cindy Lou Who. Excuse me? Yeah that's right I called you Lou Who. Why? It sounded funny. Um no. Please go work on your own time I'm on break from copying. 
I heard you gossiped about Dom. It wasn't gossip, it was fact cause I was in the break room with him myself. Then I'll go see what Tom thinks of this mishap. Welcome Cindy. Hello Mr. Jeff. I heard you know that Tom was talking about me. That is true sir he was only complaining about not getting the same number of coffee. Really? Yes and I was thinking it was good that you said that. Oh? Yeah cause he tends to get hyper after a few cups so it was wise. Why thanks Cindy I love it when you're fact and not fiction. No problem sir. Hello Miss Cindy can I call you? Yes or others only call me Sin. But anyway how can I help you? Yes I want the job what do you do here? Well we file, and we don't ever gossip we need to tell the truth little things happen here and it always best to say something. And is there anybody I need to watch out for? Yes Isabel. Who is she? She is this lady that tends to snoop into people's business when it's not gossip at all. So always avoid her and so she won't snoop just don't talk about anything. Why thanks I hope to avoid her in the near future. Thanks for your time and we will call you to see if you got the job. Now what have you got to share Cindy? Well sir I have an idea how we can avoid Isabel to stop snooping into others business. Please tell. Well you know those baby communicators that let you know when it's crying in a near or far room? Yes. Something like that but it's hidden on a wall somewhere so when people gossip the bosses can hear it or somebody else so they can report it or if they don't they get fired. Good idea I think Isabel needs to learn the hard way. Good idea sir. Well thanks for the idea I shall have my people work on the idea. You're welcome. Hello class. Hey teacher my name is Liesl. 
That's an interesting name. I was named after the character on the Sound of Music. Oh, I remember her. Yes, she is my favorite. But that doesn't mean that you're gonna be my favorite student, you're gonna get to earn that title. Oh no, I was just thinking since you liked my name that you were the first one nobody has ever said that before. Oh, I am sorry, excuse me. I get students sometimes that get all happy when I like their name and they consider that they will be my favorite. Oh, I'm sorry too, that you got students like that. Alright Liesl since you're new why don't you write out a math problem for us? Okay. What do you want to write? Anything? How about 1 plus 11? Oh that's a tough one. A little. Let's see. It's... 12. Hello, there are welcome to TV school. I'm sorry, what? Hello, welcome to TV school. I don't understand you. OHIC. I think I'm in the wrong school. Hello there. Oh, so you do speak English? Yes, I didn't know you were American. Oh, see, that's the thing, I'm Japanese American. Meaning I am half Japanese from my mom and half American from my dad. Oh, I am sorry, that was just so new to me as well as you were also. Oh, I see, my name's Mitchell. How do you do, I am Mitsuka. I love that name. He is so cute. Who, who, is cute? Over there. Ha ha ha, I don't believe that. Oh my gosh, he is cute. I know, right? Sai, he is too cute. I have an idea. Go talk to him. Come out of here. Oh no, you don't come back here. Come on, go say hi or something. Well, okay. Hope she makes it through one word. Hi there. Oh, hi. Um. I. Um. Oh, are you the space warrior I heard about? Yes, my name is Jen. Cool, I am Tom. Have you heard about the alien invasion? Oh yeah, I am here to help. Good, then let's get ready for battle. Right. So let's see where to start. How about the weapons area? Perfect choice. Then let's go to the armor area, and then the cars. Oh no, we're left behind? I guess so. Well, let's find an alien spaceship and use that to take us back. But what if they think we're aliens? 
we'll use communication to tell them. All right, if you say so. Okay, let's think first. Where to find the ship? Well, I saw something fly over the next hill. Let's check over there.